Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, my name is Artefa Sani Aulia. I am from MTS Al Mahat Anwar. I would like to tell you a story about the legend of Romo Pani. A long time ago, the villagers of Nepal surprised to see a very rich man who was going to attack them. There was a villager who could cast net name Linting Bar. Having called this name, he killed an enemy and was eaten in a race. Only one of the villagers who was not invited to enjoy the party. She was a poor old grandmother named Nyai Minya. A few days later came a ten year old boy. He looked himself in a cat. If his skin was covered with feces, the boy went through every house and asked villagers for food. But nobody gave him food or drinking water. They even threw and mocked him. Finally, he arrived at the house of Nyai Minya. In front of the privacy house, he was born in rice with water. Grandma, the boy said, I'm thirsty. Why I ask for water, Grandma? Grandmother took the chair to drink a glass of water with gusto. She looked at him with pity. Summer water, you want to eat, but I only had rice. What's a disease? Won't it get much? That's enough. I'm hungry, said the boy. Grandma immediately got rice and left her vegetables. He also brought water again for the boy. He ate greedily until there was no rice left. What's your name, son? What is your father and mother? My name was Nitik Baru. My father and mother passed away. Would you like to stay here accompanying me? Thank you, Grandma. But I went alone. People here are evil, Grandma. Only Grandmother is kind to me. Nitik Baru then told about the story of a villager who were not friends to him. Later, he said goodbye. Before leaving, he advised Nyai Minya. Grandma, when you hear the sound of the bomb, you go up to the tomb of the martyr, they will be safe. Although she did not understand the meaning of Nitik Baru, she said yes. Nitik Baru entrenched the village again. He went to the children who were playing. He picked up the stick and cast it in the crowd. Then he called the children. Hey! Hey! Come on! Who can remove this stick? He think it's mocking. When one by one tried to pull this stick, nothing worked. They asked the big one. But well, the last turn was cleaning to refocus. it. From the hole in the ground, water caused the proper stick to grow more and more profusely. People were hunting around frantically. Someone rang the gong as a sign of danger. But the water became fluid and drowned out the whole village. They heard the distance of the bomb, remembered the message of Lady Baru, and immediately came to the tomb of the mortar. He just said in mortar, the water was coming in hunch. After some time, the water stood breathing and slowly began to receive. Then he called Kate to the lake. Only she who could survive from the floor. All villagers were dead. The water did not drink to be back the cheap oil called Rawa Pernik. It is located in Ambarawas, 